Hi guys, you're here again, welcome to YB Plays Music. So last week I showed you guys a combination between the hammer-on and the pull-off technique and that threw an example as Thunderstruck, at least the intro of Thunderstruck and actually the riff throughout the whole song. But I only did the first part of Thunderstruck, the very recognizable beginning like this. <laughs> but I didn't show the rest of the intro. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. You saw it in the intro, and guys, I told you before that I'm not a professional guitar player, but I can show you how to play certain songs and certain riffs, and show you the positioning on how to play them. And it doesn't really mean, because I know how to play it, that I actually play it perfectly myself. That's not always the case, but I can show you how to play it, and then you can exercise it. That's also helpful. So that said, last week was not because I wasn't able to play it. I showed you slowly how to do it. But this time I'm showing you the whole intro and the riff. So I'm not gonna show you the first two positions as I showed them you last week. So if you want to see that, check out last week's video. You can see the beginning of the intro like that and you can start exercising that part first. If you got that part down, then you are ready for the next part. And that is after the positioning that we had with our index finger on the fifth fret of the second string and then with our ring finger on the eighth fret of the second string. By the way, it's only the second string that we use for this, all right? So after this part, we go higher on the arm for our next riff or the next part of the riff. What fingers you actually use, you can actually decide that yourself a little bit, but try to switch it up a little bit so that we exercise multiple fingers and it's not just only the middle finger or only the index finger because they're the strongest. Try to train multiple fingers and finger positionings. First of all, I'm gonna show you the notes that we're going to use and that we're going to press. So we start off with the 12th fret and I would suggest the ring finger or the pinky finger. I personally use my ring finger. Then go to the 10th fret, I use my middle finger. Then the 9th fret with the index finger. Then back to the 10th fret, I again use my middle finger. Back to the 9th fret. Then I slide back with my index finger, go to the 7th fret. With my ring finger, I press the 9th fret again. Then I go with my index finger to the 5th fret with my ring finger on the 7th and then with my index finger I go back to the 4th fret middle finger to the 5th and the same two times over again so if we just play those notes just with our plectrum and just by pressing them down not anything too difficult we get this And actually we end another time on the 4th fret with my index finger. We know where the notes are and we know where to play them and with what fingers we want to do that. You can switch the fingers up actually. I gave you my way how I play it, so do with that what you want, alright? Now, first of all we have to hammer down those frets, but we have to pull them off as well so that we have the B string as well. Right? So if we have that slowly, we start off like this. That's very slow of course. And you can start very slow as well. Really start by just playing the B string perhaps. And then start hammering down and pulling off note by note. And then we repeat that part, but that's a big slide back up to be accurate. So you have to exercise as well the movement from below here 
to this high point, right? So if we try it two times in a row, just slow like this. And again. And that's basically it. And now if you have the hang of that, just try to play it faster, 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 every time a little bit. Not too much, just steadily increase the speed in which you play the riff, right? And then you can play it faster and faster and faster like this. <laughs> And you will hit a wrong note now and then. That's no problem at all. Just try to automize the movement so that your fingers really remember what they should do in that. And then you can combine this with the first part that I showed you last video, which is this part. And then go back to the other part right so you can combine those two and if you have the hang of those two combined you can actually play the whole intro and the riff of thunderstruck congratulations so th this is only using the hammer on and pull off technique right you can also try it of course with playing exactly every note with your plectrum but that is a lot harder to synchronize your right and left hand it's already hard to play your plectrum that fast first of all and then to synchronize it with your left hand is even harder. So just something that you should know perhaps, but you always can try, of course. Guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>